hello i hope you are fine and studying well today we will have a look at database connectivity with the visual basic dot net we know that it is easy to create programs in uh, microsoft visual basic uh, dot net uh, i will show that uh, database connectivity with the vb dot net is even easier let's start with the a simple project file new project windows forms application db view we will just try to get some data from the database and uh, view it the project is being created so this is my empty window i can just run it so now i want to uh, connect some database and uh, get the content from that database so first i need to have a database if i don't have a database i can create a database inside the visual basic dot net environment itself so for that uh, we need to have database explorer uh, i have it here but if you don't have Uh, uh, if it is not visible just go to window reset layout or uh, you can go to view uh, other windows and database database explorer so here we have database explorer here you can uh, right click on data connections then click on add connection here uh, if you have a database ready you can uh, directly provide the link you can browse it and connect if you have many database uh, management systems in your computer you can choose one uh, for now we will create a new database create uh, where you want it to store we'll just browse it documents documents visual studio 2010 projects and inside that i have a folder called a db i want to store my database here so click okay select the folder and click okay so there you want to there you can store and if you want to change the name of the database you can just uh, uh, change the name here i want to create a database called test db 1 so this is uh, as you can see here uh, sql server compact database file uh, i want to have password and username if you if you want to have a password you can give it here or you can uh, choose uh, platform de default your windows credentials can be used i will uh, say unencrypted okay yes now now you click this button test connection whether whether the uh, vb environment can connect with the database or not you can test it you should get this message test connection succeeded uh, by chance if you make a mistake here i will change the path visual studio now if you give test connection file cannot be found or another common mistake that we might make is password i will just type something in the password if you give test connection password will is not matching these are the two common uh, failure cases uh, now i will give test connection again test connection succeeded okay so the connection uh, we have created a database test db1 i want to create table inside that so for that you can just expand it right here tables right click on the tables there you get create a table and then you can specify the columns table name and columns will uh, give the name sample column name oh, this is the first column i will give 
register number I will choose data type int and then uh, another column oh ok there I will choose register number as uh, primary key primary key as unique yes and uh, do not allow null and then name where care 100 let it be so this is a simple table the name of the table is sample and it has uh, two columns register number and name let us create this table just need to click ok so the table here we have the table now let us put some data into that uh, table where is that can just show table data here I can enter some data 1 mercury 2 Venus 3 earth 4 moon so this is my data so here I can so this is my table sample and there are two columns I have entered some data now let us try to connect to this database using our visual basic dot net application I will just close that uh, table view now I want to uh, customize my application if I uh, I want to add a control so if you want to add a control you can just go to toolbox if it is not visible just go to view or uh, window re reset window uh, here I need data grid view where is it data grid view I will just drag and drop it you can just uh, resize it to fit to your window your required dimension now you can see a small arrow mark a black arrow mark right here in the top top right corner just click it then uh, there are some options like uh, uh, whether the modifications are allowed can we reorder columns some options and then the most important one is data source our database is our data source or inside the database there is a table there are tables so which we want as our data source that we should choose here so for that uh, I will just click here data source none uh, now I do not have a data source yet in my project data sources are visible here there are none so I can add one data source add project data source I will try to add a database now we have already created our database we just need to connect it data set we want to use data set which database we want to connect there are databases which all databases are created in, in our visual basic id they are available here i want to connect with test db1 test db1 connection string if i want to customize i can customize here uh, no there, there are none mm, next the data file is not in the current project directory but i don't want to copy so would you like to copy the file to your project and modify the connection no save the connection as this is my connection string name uh, next from where i want to get the data from the table sample finish now the data set a new connection a data set, data source is created and that data source is connected to this data grid view if the connection is successful you will get some uh, sample uh, column description right here in your application now i just need to run it 
if everything is well we will get, uh, get a list of uh, data items in my uh, data table sample it is running yeah here we have uh, so everything inside the database and the sample table it is visible here now uh, what we can do uh, we have uh, enabled uh, column reordering we can just uh, change the order of column it is possible and uh, you can resize the height of row it is possible uh, we have enabled editing modifications are allowed hence i can uh, modify mercury mercury 1 instead of moon uh, I, I will delete this moon to delete i will just uh, select this row and press delete okay you need to select entire row delete okay and uh, I will close there is a interesting property you might expect now so I have made some modification I will close now let us recap what we have done we have created a database we have created our project and our project is uh, connected to the database using uh, data source uh, and uh, we have uh, created data grid view there we have displayed uh, data from our table so it was very simple to do that we have not written even a single line of code that is why this is very easy now uh, whether uh, we have also allowed some modification whether the changes are persistent uh, that means whether that changes are made in the database also we will uh, check it by running this application one more time now if you could see i had the deleted moon but it is still there mercury made uh, set into mercury one but that uh, change is lost why that change is lost we are not saving the modification from uh, this data grid view to our database if you remember this is a data set we we have uh, connected the data source to our data set this is the data set but the data set is storing the data uh, whatever data values are there in the memory data set values are preserved in the main memory ram and when you terminate your program all those uh, values are lost this data set is not directly connected to the database data values are retrieved from the database but this is not in connection uh, not a live connection with the database that is why these data sets are known as disconnected data sets data set not is not maintaining a persistent connection uh, so uh, if you want to save the modifications you need to specify it in a uh, line of code just one add one line of code your changes will be persistent for that i will just uh, uh, go to the code view So here uh, uh, we have a line of code. This is automatically generated by VBID. Uh, I will. I need a. I need to handle an event. When I want to save the changes, when I terminate my application, if it if that is the use case, we just need to go to events. You can just right click here, or uh, or you can go to here events. Uh, we have something for load. Just search for. Uh, form closing here we have form closing for that we will just add one event for form closing before closing the form we will we want to save the changes in the uh, data set for that me dot there are some automatically created control i will use sample table adapter table adapter is uh, created to fetch or store the data from the database so this database uh, this adapter is uh, uh, acting as an intermediary between our uh, data set and the actual data database sample data adapter we want to update mm -hmm. update sample data adapter dot update 
sample is this name is uh, given because our uh, database table name was sample hence the automatically created uh, name is indicating sample otherwise what is important is the adapter table adapter uh, table adapter dot update uh, we want to update our data set where is that data set me dot sample sorry me dot data grid view 1 uh, or uh, uh, we have the data set here test db1 uh, we have created the data set in this name test db1 dot data uh, so i will just choose this name me dot test db1 data set so uh, finally we have this one liner me dot me uh, present form sample table adapter table adapter dot update this is the method we want table adapter dot update what data set test db1 data set it is the name given to our data set here so if you add this one line what happens we will just run our project and see what happens i will delete this moon once again i will select delete and then uh, instead of uh, instead of uh, earth i will say earth and moon earth and moon okay i will just terminate my project so i had made some change and terminated my application now whatever changes are uh, stored in my memory it is lost if the change is there in my database that should be reflected when i run this project once again i have run my project once again and i uh, my changes are visible now okay this is about how we create uh, a simple uh, database connectivity with our vb.net projects uh, we will we can customize uh, here we have just retrieved all the data and uh, displayed uh, you can customize it uh, customizing is also very easy uh, but if you want to do some custom filtering for individual data I, I just uh, don't want to display uh, register number 2 if the register number is 2 I don't want to display the name if you want to do such kind of customization you can uh, do the uh, you can implement this in the uh, way of coding you can uh, write code for everything so that we will see in the next video thank you